So we're not testing the Rotel 230. This is the field test for the Midland 76 or is it 77, 8, 10, whatever it is, Ready Rescue. So Mr. Chippy has Ready Rescue in the test car and he's using the aerial, the little telescopic aerial that comes with the kit. So it's not with the vehicle aerial, it's with the complete kit, radio and the aerial. So we're going to see how we do. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy. Tango 21, receive your loud and clear. Yeah, roger. Now, he's going to be talking far away from it because what he doesn't want to do is to pick up the radio. I'm going to pretend that's a radio. So it's going to be on the seat of his car. Right, so I'm um, talking to your arm's length with this. Can you hear me OK? Yeah, Roger, that's fine. When you get to um, the destination, um, just pit talk into it normally, just so they can hear it over. Yeah, Roger, that's fine. So, as he says, he's got it arm's length. And he's just having to press the thing while it's on the seat because he can't be seen picking that up or he might end up being pulled up for using a radio. It needs to be really on a, on a fist mic. Right, we'll come on to the end of the line now. Roger, got you at the end of the line. Roger, got you at the uh, petrol station, over. Roger that. Right, we're now going through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you at Ancaster Crossroads. Roger that. Quite a bit of noise on the signal already, uh, so I might need it with that aerial, so we'll see. Well, that's the whole point of the test, yeah. <laughs> Roger, got you at the top of the hill. So that's two miles. So he's now going to go around Scratchy Corners, the next one in a mile. And we'll see how that goes. The Cybernet um, ZX1 was the worst of these as far as the supplied aerial goes. Not as far as the radio itself goes. And it petered out, I think, at the uh, uh, Kelby turn. So we'll see. That was four miles. Yeah, Roger, that is fine going around Scratchy Corner. Tango 41, Mr. nothing heard there. Ah, I did respond, that was fine going around Scratchy Corner. Roger, well, we're now out of Scratchy Corner, I'm not receiving you very well at all. Yeah, Roger, that's fine. Roger, got you going over the level crossing at Wilsford. So I'm going to twice Mr. Chippy, do you copy? Here you're saying you were coming out of the Kelby turn as I came back into this room. So you're you reading me over. Yeah, Roger. That. I'm now between the Kelby turn and the Rossby turn. Yeah, the difficulty here is we've had two ten-one sets, haven't we? Uh, or the we have aerial-wise, and so this is when you start thinking there's something wrong at this end. Yeah, Roger that. Now that sounds absolutely normal then. Roger. 
And we know that Ready Rescue works really, really well. So uh, it, the thing is down to the aerial, like it was with the Cybernet version. Roger, then we have one with the telescopic aerial that works really well, though. Yeah, the Maxcom 7E, phenomenal. So it's, you know, it's like with the realistic, I think, 1004, I think that one works really well. Anyway, it's a shortened aerial, it it, uh, it didn't work uh, beyond uh, the level crossing, uh, it didn't get you at Kelby, so uh, that's the conclusion over.